Well, we're not sure what to do with these, but supposedly this is a paste, maybe, and it's very sweet. And he went to Paris store this morning and spent 13 euros. It's at 810 Rue de l'Evangile. It's in the 18th arrondissement of Paris. Okay. Let's see if I can show you sorry for all the clutter, what he got. And I was supposed to go with him this morning, but I was, uh, it was my first time out in three weeks after having a cold. And I was really kind of overtired when we got back. And I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. And I figured, well, it's Boxing Day, and, you know, we have jean jean confit. And... Yeah, these look like little sweets of sesame and seaweed and stuff. Let's see. This is from Vietnam. Here we have two elephants and Worldmark brand. And this is called Mangoustan. And they're in syrup. <clears throat> and we we've had these fresh here. That's an idea of what they look like. And let's see. Oh, this is called um Chaco Zapota. And this is annoying because it's a different name in every country. This has a lot of medicinal qualities. And supposedly, the seeds, for example, are extremely good for getting rid of bladder and kidney stones. You know, a lot of foods do have medicinal purposes. So, what else did he get? Uh, oh, this is pretty. I like this. He just got it because it looked pretty. It's called Eringo. And it's a green. It's a long green thing. And it's, it's like this big old dandelion kind of thing. And I already tasted some raw and put some for lunch. It adds a lot of... It's a little bit like cilantro, I guess. I don't know. It adds a lot of color. Um... These are some very freaky green beans, and I sliced one of these and cooked them already just to see see what the deal was. See, they're all they're all zigzaggy, but that's a, a variety of green bean. And oh, these are just some pretty mushrooms. They don't have much flavor or anything, but they're nice. And let me close this door here. It's not good to leave the refrigerator door open. These are called con and are Chinese artichokes. They're not really artichokes, I guess. They remind me of topinambur, uh, which are known as Jerusalem artichokes, and those aren't artichokes either. These are little tubers which grow horizontally underground and these are a, a winter product and you want a light color like this and these will dry out pretty quickly so I'm going to have to do something with these soon now you can uh, take a clean tea towel and uh, rub them and get some of the skin off but it's not dark yet it's it's really not thick there are, there are some little bits on it I might also use a where is it? A vegetable brush on them. It's it's nice to have a uh, kind of a dirty drawer. It's, a, it's a, not so good. That's a vegetable brush. It's kind of nice to have some different vegetable brushes. They're very useful. Um, you can actually uh, scrub this a bit and grate it raw into salad. However. I have a French recipe for this. They're called Con, because that's a town in the Paris region. 
and these were introduced in the 19th century to France and they're from northern China and Japan and Kron was where they were first raised and um, there's a French recipe where you boil these scrubbed for 20 minutes with a spoonful of flour. I don't know why but I noticed that some some things have to be boiled with a spoonful of flour. I really don't know why the flour, but whatever. And then you cool them down and they get mixed with mussels and um, some white wine and some cooked wax, waxy potatoes and some sherry, I think, and I forget what else. I'll show you if I do that. Oh, and he also got some, he likes rice noodles now, which is nice because I'm gluten intolerant and I'm not supposed to eat wheat noodles. We have we have buckwheat noodles from the other day. Buckwheat I can eat. Oh, I've used them almost all up. These are nice. These just taste a little bit more buckwheatier. But finally, he likes rice noodles. And in New York, I used to like chow mai phong, which are fine rice noodles. And uh, oh, these are so versatile. I mean, that you can just even eat them plain, but they're good in soup. You can have them with uh, uh, sauces and you can stir fry them and stuff like that. So I'm still not feeling terrific. And I don't know what I'm going to do with what is this? seed fell off of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this foie gras. I guess it can sit here in the fridge for a while. I've got little blini. They're not very good, but it's just some different color from exotic vegetables with uh, it's Montbelliard sausage uh, with boiled potatoes. I think you're supposed to use some creme fraiche also in the cron salad. And I do have some. Okay, so it's not very interesting here. It's a quiet day, and that's the way I intend to keep it. See you later. Bye.